Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. Mm -hmm. Day two of the NAMM show. So not only is it super crowded in here, but now we're also shorthanded. Fantastic. <laughs> Norm and Joel are out at the Vintage Guitar Show now. Norm was at NAMM yesterday with Jen and he gave that speech. He's calling me right now, he's gonna have to wait. It's already uh, 10 to six, doing this the latest ever we've done this before, but <laughs> There's a lot going on in here. Let's see, it's been a while since we've caught up with uh, all the different weird days uh, when we were filming. So let's see here. Uh, the Telly from Telly Tuesday, that slab board Telly Custom. Yeah, that's gone. Actually, something funny. I thought I sent you to voicemail. There we go. Uh, I got a message from Brian in Rochester, New York, who actually called me at the store the other day to confirm this. Uh, but him and his buddy Scott uh, had a $200 bet uh, on uh, whether or not we had any pedals in front of, uh, I was doing that thing with the dark circuit and, and, and Scott lost 200 bucks. <laughs> that was straight through the amp, homie. I'd tell you if I was using a pedal. That's, yeah, that's a deluxe reverb, just cranked, homie. We never use pedals, though. Nice pedals, dude. Didn't you see what Joe Bonamassa said about pedals? You don't need to use pedals. Just, <laughs> just turn it up louder, you know? So congratulations, Brian, on winning the 200 bucks and for paying attention. Uh, so yeah, that's gone. Uh, Pelham Blue 330 is still here, but man, I've been taking a lot of calls on that. That's not going to be here much longer. Uh, and let's see what else is happening. Other than going crazy here, there's more good stuff on the way. Actually, we're waiting right now for the truck to come drop off, I believe. 25 new ones that Norm pulled today at the vintage show, and I'm sure there'll be 25 or 30 more tomorrow, too. So we'll be pretty well stocked up for the next month or so here for Guitar of the Day. Uh, but that brings us to today. Norm, I can't talk, dude. Um, it's Flat Top Friday. We've done a lot of these guitars before. Never gets old for me. They're so good. We haven't done a Martin in a while. Why don't you guys come on back, check this out. This is from 1955. This is an original Martin 015. Mm. All mahogany, mahogany top, mahogany back and sides, rosewood board, rosewood bridge. Wow. Super brown. Love that. But man, these are killer guitars. Just really great. Great size. My size. Gen Gen size. I don't know what it is, but in the last few years, we've been selling more O and double O size guitars than we're selling dreads and triple O's. I don't know why, but man, these are super popular right now. And for good reason. They just, they sound great. And they're controllable. They track really great. They're easy to record. They sit great in the mix. They don't take up too much space. They don't get woofy on the low end. They're just a great studio guitar. And it's something about, I mean, the 018s I love too, and they brighten up a little bit, but something about just the, just warm, woody sound of these all mahogany guitars, man. They just, they, they sound like America, man. I'm telling you. It's just, they sound like every, just every record you ever heard. So, I mean, they're really simple. There's no binding on the body. There's no fancy rosettes or anything. It's just as basic and bare bones of guitar as you can find in the smallest size that they were doing at that time. So there's like the O, the double O, and the triple O. They're all basically the same shape. The, just the lower belt and top belt dimensions get a little bit larger for every O you add. So the, the single O would be the smallest. Double O would just bring this lower bout out a little bit more. Triple O would just be a little bit more than that. So, but they're all roughly this shape. Oh, no, no binding on the neck, just the tiny little dots, the plastic buttons. I mean, come on. The case is cool, too. A little soft case with the green interior. Pretty bitchin'. It's cool, man. It's Flat Top Friday. We were supposed to be closed in six minutes. Oh, my God. I still got deals to write up. I'm going to be here all night. Let's go get this done. Let's go tickle this little guy. We'll hit it with the pick a little bit. See what kind of sounds it makes. All right, we're out front. We have the 1955 Martin 015, single O size, all mahogany, top, back, and sides. Let's put it through the paces really quick. Today, we'll start with the flat pick first. We'll switch the fingers in just a minute.
cool. Let's ditch the flat pick. Let's hit this thing with the fingers really quick. See how it does on the finger stuff. from 1955's original Martin 017. As small and as simple as they come. All mahogany, mahogany top, back and sides. Unbound rosewood board, rosewood bridge. Man, it's just the simplest thing they did, but it's, it doesn't have to be fancy to sound fantastic. There's your Flat Top Friday for this week. Follow me on Instagram, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Is Nam week over yet? No. One more day. <laughs> All right. One more day. <laughs> one final episode of Guitar of the Day. Spoiler alert. It's freaking Stratter Day. It's custom <laughs> color. Ooh. You're going to love it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for one final episode of Guitar of the Day for the week. You guys have a great night. Peace. Bye.